Now, two robberies, two shootings, one deadly. Jacksonville police suspect they may be connected. Now they're searching for an armed man. Police have given us these surveillance photos showing a man suspected of robbing the CVS store on San Juan Avenue on the west side around 3.15 this morning. We're told he shot a store employee who escaped serious injury. The same man is also considered a suspect in another robbery at Mojo's Barbecue No. 4 in Avondale, where a victim was found shot to death. Channel 4's Tarek Miners joining us now live from Avondale with more on the search for this wanted man. Tarek, are police still trying to determine if these two crimes are in fact related? Now, police are saying that all indications point that the same person may have committed both of these crimes, that first robbery and fatal shooting here at this Mojo's restaurant, and then the second one, just a couple of miles away, a shooting at a CVS pharmacy, and in both cases, the suspect shot at employees working in the early morning hours. Just before 4 a.m., as two men cleaned inside Mojo's restaurant, a man walks in through an open door, pointing a gun and demanding money. Police say the gunman may very well be this man who was captured on surveillance video minutes later attempting a similar crime at a CVS pharmacy just two miles away. Right now we're working it as if they were all the same perpetrators. 54-year-old Robert Sutton, a longtime employee of Ed Lumney's exhaust cleaning, died almost instantly inside this restaurant, according to his co-worker. When the gunman barged in, that co-worker hid and covered himself, staying still under the counter for 30 minutes. And from his hiding place, he says he heard what sounded like someone trying to break into the cash register. Roughly 30 minutes later, police say this man takes aim at a CVS employee, firing one shot that just barely grazed a sales associate's head. Unfortunately, people that work in areas that are open throughout the night and the wee hours of the morning are uh, targets, easy targets a lot of times for uh, would-be thieves, would-be robbers. Channel 4 crime analyst Ken Jefferson warns that overnight employees should always lock their doors and be aware of others around them. It's not what locals say they expected in this upscale Avondale neighborhood where some say their sense of security has been shattered. I'm concerned because they haven't been caught yet. I know the police are excellent here. They're going to, uh, the sheriff's office is going to look very uh, diligently for these people and I'm hoping they can catch them right away. And because these were such brazen robberies, a lot of the folks who live here in Avondale are extremely concerned that this gunman could strike again. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, you're going to hear from that one employee uh, who was actually inside Mojo's who hid his own first uh, account of what happened last night. Of course, if you recognize the person in that surveillance photo, take it from the CVS. You're asked to call Crime Stoppers. Live in Avondale, I'm Tarek Minor, Channel 4, the local station. Tarek, have police told you whether the robber got away with anything in either of these crimes? Well, in this crime, we're told the robber was trying to break into the cash register and was unsuccessful. But at the CVS pharmacy, we're told that the cashier actually handed the robber the actual entire cash register drawer. Tarek Miner reporting to us live from Avondale. Thank you, Tarek.